Well, good morning and thank you so much once again for joining me with Storytime with Joyce and that's me. And we're reading from my book, Betty. And last week we found out that Arvin was doing very fine on his job at the garment factory. We also learned that uh, Betty is doing very well at Dr. Russell's and taking care of the four-year-old twins and he really likes how she's doing that. He likes her cooking. And we also found out that Teddy Roosevelt, who was our 26th president, was going to run again for presidency and was about ready to give a speech about 100 miles from Chicago when he was shot. And he ended up uh, recuperating at Dr. Russell's hospital, which was Mercy Hospital in Chicago. And Betty just thought that was so wonderful that he, she thought Dr. Russell would be famous because he was taking care of Teddy Roosevelt. Anyway, so let's move on, okay? So this is chapter 10, and it's called Two Years Later. So over the next two years, Betty and, and Arvin worked hard and saved enough money to start looking for their own place. Then something happened to cause them to speed up that plan. Arvin, what are we going to do now that we're gonna have a baby? Betty asked. These last two years have been hard on us, Betty, but with you putting in all those hours and, and working with those kids and me working at the factory extra hours, we have enough money to get us a place in one of those courtyard buildings, Arvin replied. Really, Betty said, looking surprised. Yes, really. I'll start asking around about those kinds of buildings tomorrow. I can ask Mary. She's been overseeing the kitchen for several years and has seen a lot of people coming and going from this here settlement house, Betty quickly replied. Betty, this is man's doing. Leave the finding out to me, Arvin said firmly. A little hurt, Betty asked, but Arvin, can it hurt me asking? Okay, but wait until I can do some checking around first, Arvin answered reluctantly. All right, Betty said, acquiescing. Arvin's buddies from the factory did help him find a place in one of those courtyard buildings. It was one on the near north side of Chicago. It was perfect, and he knew Betty would be excited. So he made the deal, and it was a good deal. Arvin negotiated the price down for the rent and was able to get the manager to let them move in right away. He couldn't wait to tell Betty and show her how man's business is done. Arvin felt like a big man and crowed to anyone who would listen about his first business deal. There would be many more to come. Betty was excited, especially about the part of moving in right away. It did take several trips on the trolley. However, they finally got settled in. She couldn't wait to tell Dr. Russell and her family about their new place. As soon as Betty got the twins settled, she started telling Dr. Russell about her new home. Dr. Russell, me and Arvin did get a place of our own and we already moved in. It's one in one of those courtyard buildings. There's three rooms. The kitchen has a stove and an icebox. My mama would have loved to have had an icebox and a man actually delivers a block of ice for the box. I never saw such a thing. He puts the ice block through a little door on the outside porch and it goes right into the ice box. It'll be nice to be cooking in my own place just for me and Arvin and not for all the people in the settlement house. The bedroom has a pull down bed and a small alcove where our baby can sleep. There's also a big front room with a bay window. You can see the street from that room. We have a place in the front of that building. It's real nice. Oh, here I am going on and on, Betty said and added, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy for you, Betty. How are you able to move in already? It's only been two days since you've been here, Dr. Russell replied. Arvin made a deal with the manager and he and his buddies found it in the morning and we started to move in that afternoon. It took a lot of trips on the trolley, but it was worth it, Betty answered. Let me know if you need anything. You've been so good to the twins, Dr. Russell said. Thanks. Some of the people from the settlement house gave us some pots and pans and some dishes too. They was extra from the kitchen I was helping out in. If you have any old sheets or towels, 
could use them. I'll see what I can do, Betty. Now I must, must be on my way to the hospital. See you tonight and congratulations on getting your own place. Well, that's it for this week. I'll see you next week for chapter 11. And remember, you can get Betty and you can get the second book, Ruth, also at Amazon.com. And it's in softback or it's also on ebook. And or go to my website, JoyceBennettHall.com. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.